and we're looking at growing from 7 billion people to possibly 9 billion people in another 50 years, we're going to have a tremendous amount of stress on our landscape. The stress comes from competing demands, the need for both food and energy to serve a growing planet. When land not naturally suited for agriculture is used to raise corn or soybeans, erosion, soil degradation, and water problems emerge. And ironically, the quest for additional energy often finds the best agricultural land raising crops that become fuel rather than food. It's a complex problem, but there is an alternative that can help restore a balance. It's a proven technology to create clean and sustainable energy while providing agricultural alternatives, environmental benefits, and jobs. Anaerobic digestion is a technology that's been used for many years and is available now. And so we were going to capture this methane and use it to substitute for gasoline or diesel for our vehicle. Rudy Raceline started RAE, building on the success of Raceline & Associates the worldwide leader in unitized and pre-assembled systems he founded in 1990. RAE innovation, customer trust, and schedule certainty are the missing links that make large-scale alternative energy solutions viable. One of the important aspects of what Rudy Raceline is trying to do is not only to preserve the land for the future, but also in showing people ways that they themselves can put these practices into use on their own farms. Anaerobic digestion is not being implemented to its full potential in the U.S. Germany has more than 6,800 anaerobic digestion facilities generating power for millions of homes. The opportunity is greater in U.S. farm country, where an estimated 8,200 dairy and swine operations could support anaerobic systems, creating a new multi-billion dollar sustainable energy industry. Anaerobic digestion naturally breaks down organic matter in an oxygen-free environment. Biogas rises to the top, where it is collected and cleaned, creating 98% methane. This renewable natural gas can be used as transportation fuel or injected into the natural gas grid system. The remaining solids can be used as natural fertilizer, and the water can be used for irrigation. We're going to be producing a renewable energy from a product that in the past has been underutilized or perhaps even looked at as a waste product. A unique partnership with Murphy Brown of Missouri will use AD technology to convert manure from nearly two million hogs to renewable natural gas. The $100 million project will move manure into covered lagoons. We will use an impermeable cover to cover those lagoons and basically they will start to act as digesters. And then as the nutrients are broken down by the digester, Raceline Alternative Energy will capture that gas and then that gas can be further refined and used as compressed natural gas. So it's going to make us better pig farmers. It's going to be good for our communities, good for our neighbors. The environmental benefits include odor control, reduced greenhouse gas emissions, and eliminating rainfall effects from treatment systems. The number of ecological benefits, environmental benefits you get from that are outstanding. In addition, RAE envisions using land converted to native grassland as a source for even more renewable natural gas. Since they're not being able to take grasslands and burn it because of the silica and the glass that it comes with, let's put it in there and ferment it with the poo and create natural gas. This vision creates a new economic and environmental model an energy crop of harvested native prairie grasses, especially for land considered highly erodible or marginal. That prairie biomass is awesome as a carbon source because all that, those nutrients are, have translocated below ground. Using anaerobic digestion, the biomass harvested from 30 million acres of restored native grassland could produce five billion diesel gallon equivalents of renewable natural gas. At $2 per diesel gallon equivalent, the renewable natural gas would be significant new revenue for landowners. Plus, the one-time cost of establishing native grasses on marginal land is much lower than the annual economic expense of planting corn or soybeans. 
it would definitely make the prairie strips an, another alternative revenue source for the farm. And if you can add on, in addition to sort of that tradable good in terms of prairie biomass, if you can start adding on credits for improved water quality or sequestered carbon, if you can layer sort of markets such that a farmland with prairie strips is much more profitable than farmland without it. The deep and diverse root systems of native plants pull water into the soil and reduce flooding. It preserves the topsoils, nourishes them, uh, ties up carbon, which could otherwise contribute to global warming, and really contributes to the biological richness and integrity of this community. Native plants greatly reduce runoff and significantly reduce soil erosion. Rudy is looking for the best formulas to keep nitrogen from flowing out, to preserve water, to preserve the ecological balance of prairie lands. It's renewable. It's sustainable. RAE believes there will be significant investment in the clean energy revolution in the coming decades, which has the potential to restore U.S. manufacturing and production to prominence in the world. With Raceland and the folks that they've brought to the table, and now we're able to ensure that this project has success. Join us on our journey to help landowners and society secure our energy future while protecting and restoring the environment.